second down. The Trojan football team will be taking on a 6-3 Ole Miss team this Saturday, but looking at the Rebels' schedule, their three losses are against current top 12 BCS teams. The Rebels are already bowl eligible, and that's what the Trojans are looking to lock up in the next two weeks. They beat LSU. They, you know, they're, they're capable, very capable across the board, offensively, defensively, special teams, and so we've got our work cut out for us. The Rebels have some of the top recruits from past years, including the Nimdichi brothers on defense. For the Trojans, one of the biggest keys in the game will be their ability to finish drives. From the offensive side of the ball, just, you know, put it in the end zone, find ways to sneak in the end zone. You know, last week we got down there a bunch and had to kick field goals, and this week that, that, that's not going to help us out. So we got to find ways to just sneak in the end zone. They're, you know, all the five star and, you know, the pretty, you know, six, five, six, six, all those tall guys that are really good and probably have pro, uh, pro uh, careers waiting ahead of them. So we, we just have to go down there and, you know, hopefully outsmart them. Another important aspect for Troy will be playing mistake-free ball when it comes to turnovers and penalties. Our window, you know, of uh, messing up is very, very small against a team like this. You know, they're a good football team. They're SEC, and, you know, we, uh, we're going to have to go make some stuff happen that's not supposed to. The Trojans lost to Mississippi State earlier in the year but have never faced the Rebels. Though the Trojans were out of the game early against the Bulldogs, Troy has been known to hang tough with SEC teams in the past. We played... Uh, Played pretty well against some of the teams that we faced uh, in that slot over the years, so no reason why this team won't. Uh, you know, I think this team will, will go give them all they got, and if that's good enough, it will be good enough. If it's not, then we'll move on to Texas State. Danielle Percival, Troy, Trojan Vision Sports.